What's going on guys? Yash here, back again with another video for you guys. In this video, we're going to be discussing, or more than that, I'm going to be giving you guys 10 products that are in demand right now that you guys can start selling right now to really maximize your sales in Q4 and onwards. Now, all of these products are available on AliExpress. As you guys can see, you guys can you know get a really, really quick uh, sneak peek over here. So, all these guys are available on AliExpress. So even if you guys aren't using AliExpress for your guys' suppliers, um, you know, these products are more than likely available for, uh, you know, multiple fulfilling agents and uh, private sourcing agents if you guys are using them as well, okay? Um, now, so I'm going to be going over the product, okay? And I'm also going to be going over, um, you know, what kind of store you guys can sell this product on, okay? And on top of that, also the Facebook targeting or the specific audience that you guys can also approach this product to as well okay so definitely stay tuned like the video if you guys are excited like the video if you guys are enjoying the video so far in Q4 and guys subscribe if you guys are new let's get right into it so first product guys is this little round plush cat bed okay now if you guys have a store in the pet niche you guys can definitely 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 sell this product okay uh, you guys can also make a one product store out of this specific product one product stores are almost um, you know they they kind of almost fit in in almost any product it's just how well you really brand that and how well you really make it fit into your actual one product and really make it your own okay so as you guys can see these can be targetable for mostly cat owners um, also people who love cats um, also for some dogs I would say right for some smaller size dogs but um, mostly this is for cats okay so it's very very easily targetable you guys can see that there's a bunch of suppliers selling it um, you guys can see that the high supplier has about thirty three thousand dollars uh, 33,000 orders, uh, not only can you sell this product on Facebook, but you can also sell this product through Instagram influencers, okay? Um, a personal influencer or even a specific niche page, a niche page based around cats, okay? Um, I think this one already gives you a video to work with as well, which is um, super, super convenient. Um, you guys can see that there's different sizes. So I think, guys, you guys can also target people who own dogs or who like dogs. Um, and obviously, the price ranges due to the size. Um, so there's a multitude of uh, price ranges that you guys can really sell this for. But I would say anywhere from 2 to 4x more than the actual cost price. Okay, guys? So very, very targetable, um, especially because the winter is coming. You know, people want to keep their pets warm and whatnot. So I definitely, definitely recommend this product. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. A little bit sick. I actually got my tea right here. This product. It's a DIY or do-it-yourself Christmas tree, okay? Since Christmas is coming along, um, this would be targetable to actual parents. Now, the good thing is, on Facebook, you can actually target parents who have a kid or a specific number of kids, right? Whether they have one kid or a number of kids in a specific age group. So you can target parents with toddlers, parents with infants, parents with kids of a specific age group. So this is really, really, really targetable as well. What it basically is, it's a do-it-yourself Christmas tree. Okay, they have a mini one and they also have a larger one. It depends on you guys, which one you guys want to sell. Um, but it is basically, it's just a Christmas tree where you can, you know, place different ornaments and stuff like that. On the actual tree you know it's great for Christmas time you know to keep the kids uh, busy and whatnot and a great upsell for this product guys are these different ornaments you guys can definitely upsell all of these um, you know they you know they have um, you know candies they have um, different ornaments a whole bunch of things um, this is just Aliexpress being Aliexpress so Let's just go back just for time's sake. I think my internet's just, you know, slow or whatnot. But you guys can basically, you know, sell these different um, ornaments as an upsell, okay? Which is really, really, really profitable in terms of increasing your AOV. The next product is this little new fashion sliding uh, wrapper or wrapper cutter. Um, this has great profit margins. Uh, in terms of the Christmas tree, again, you guys can sell it like two to four times. X or two to four X more. 
Um, but in terms of this, this was a product that was actually doing really, really well that I sold myself last year around this time. Uh, this product you guys can easily sell for seven, eight, nine, ten bucks. Um, and what it is is basically it's, it's a convenience product. Okay, this isn't a passion product. This is a convenience product. Okay, that pillow bed, for example, for your cat, that's a passion product. Okay, you want your cat to feel comfortable. Okay, you want the best for your pet. This is a convenience product. What it is, it's basically a cutter that can basically slice right through and make precision uh, measurements for. Uh, wrapping paper okay a lot of people are giving gifts and whatnot so this is a great tool and a great product to make uh, you know gift wrapping super 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 convenient okay now a lot of these products they can ship from China or from the United States you guys can also filter it out by United States or China so if you guys want faster shipping times I would uh, you know definitely keep in mind for that too so again great conveniency product um, I wouldn't say um, having a one product store for something like this um, this can uh, maybe be added to like a do-it-yourself store or a home improvement store or more so something like that okay it's a little bit hard to structure a one product store around this especially because it's super super low ticket okay the same with um, the Christmas gift or the do it or the do it your your the do-it-yourself Christmas gift stay away from a one product store um, if you guys have a holiday store or something like that it's a great addition to something like that okay <coughs> Next product is um, your climbing ladder Santa. Now, this is a product that is doing really, really well. Um, again, there's different sizes for this actual product. Uh, there's also snowmen and reindeers um, and stuff like that too. This is a product that you can sell two to four times X more. Again, you can make this a one product store or you can even make it um, or you can even add it as an addition to like a holiday store. That's something I really, really recommend, guys. Making a holiday store um, just centric around Christmas gifts, okay? Because Black Friday, Cyber Monday, people are buying. More than 80% of people are spending money for Christmas, okay? To either for themselves, their family, their loved ones, their friends. doesn't matter. So, again, if you guys also want to make a one product store, I recommend having like one deal at a time or one holiday deal at a time. And you guys can filter basically one product off of that actual store, okay? So, again, one product store. Um, or adding to a actual holiday theme kind of store, okay? This is something that's more of a passion product, not a convenience product. You don't need this, but it's something that's jolly. It basically uplifts people's mood. It's something that's pretty cool, right, for other people to see, uh, you know, when they're visiting their houses. So, again, guys, great, great, great gift um, to even other people or, uh, you know, most people are actually going to buy this for themselves to actually put them or put the put the actual item in the actual house that they're living in, okay? <clears throat> and again, AliExpress, they already come with the video. So you guys can mess around with that and, you know, see if it's a good video or not. Um, cool. Also, another thing, guys, you guys can upsell a longer or larger ladder, okay? These are all items you can pre-check out upsell. That means when someone adds to cart and they go to the checkout page or the add to cart page before they check out, you can upsell something like this to increase your AOV. Okay. Next product on our list is um, basically shoe insoles. Now, again, this not a good really one product store, uh, but something more uh, that you can add to like an outdoor store or a camping store or something of that sort, basically. Okay. Um, again, this is a convenience product. People will invest into themselves. Always, always, always remember that. Okay, these are basically soles to keep people warm. People who are campers or hikers or construction workers. Um, you know, people who are mostly outdoors most of the time. Okay, you guys can even target people uh, by their what they're employed as. Okay, Facebook actually allows you to target people. Um, you know, if they're electrician workers, if they're utility workers, okay, you can target these type of people um, as well as behavioral interest and different demographics and stuff like that. So again, guys, convenience product, people will invest into themselves if it, um, you know, will benefit them at the end of the day. Okay, so this product isn't really too out there, but electric heating insoles, uh, very, very, very possible to sell and highly in demand. Again, I don't really recommend one product store around something like this, but you can add it to um, not maybe a holiday store, but because it's not only solely eccentric to Christmas, it is something that people can use all throughout winter. Um, and people can even buy multiple of these. So maybe you guys want to have quantity breaks or something like that.
and they're also adjustable, okay? Um, so again, uh, more like an outdoor store or something like that, this can be a great addition too. <coughs> so this product, guys, again, if you guys have like a kitchenware store or like a home improvement store or, or home decor store or something like that, um, great for those additions. Um, not really good for a one product store, but this is something that's pretty simple, but uh, people will buy, especially because the holidays are coming, you know, for appetizers or for desserts or something like that. Um, it's basically just a stand uh, that people can, you know, place a cake on or, um, you know, people can put different sorts of sweets and um, different just um, just different types of foods. And what's really cool, that's adjustable. So you don't have to have all three segments at one time. OK, you can have either three or two or either one. So it's completely dependable um, in terms of, you know, what the customer wants. So even here, there's four different sorts of colors. OK. Again, it also makes a great upsell as well if you guys are already selling something kind of like this or kitchen related or cooking related or something like that. Uh, very targetable in terms of people who like to cook, people who like to bake, uh, maybe um, you know stay at home mom, stuff like that. So again, super, super targetable and super broad and super approachable as well. Moving on, <clears throat> we have this foot warmer. Now guys, this can be easily, easily branded, easily able to be made into a one product store. This you can sell at even like three to six times more, okay? This is something that's a little bit of a passion product. Why I say that is it's kind of shaped in terms of a stocking, but it's more of a conveniency product. Again, people will invest into themselves, okay? Maybe you guys can sell this and sell those insole electric warmers as an upsell, okay? So be creative. Again, this can be added to um, more like a holiday store or like a outdoor store or or not 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 outdoors but like a home improvement store or something like that. Uh, but I highly highly recommend making this into a one product store. I think it's really really possible, um, and it's highly highly targetable. Right? Who doesn't want to be warm, regardless of your age, gender, location, country? Doesn't matter. If someone wants to stay warm, you know they're gonna buy this. Okay? It's just how you kind of add that perceived value to this specific product. Okay? <clears throat> So guys, again, mass, mass potential and super targetable. Um, so I would definitely go ahead and really brand this into a one product store. Um, I actually suggested this to one of my clients that I'm coaching right now one on one. And uh, we're already scaling past $500 a day within about a week and a half. So um, super, super possible, guys. Jump on this right away. <coughs> and um, this product, guys, foldable iron okay what's really cool about this is you can use this and it folds to iron like collars and stuff like that you know micro places or you can even flatten out to actual iron stuff right these can be uh, again this can be easily made into a one product store or you can even add it to like a travel or conveniency store or something like that you can easily sell it for about two to five x more um, again, this can be targetable to people who like to travel, um, people who are always on the go, people, um, you know, who are into more kind of convenience. Um, again, a lot of different targeting options, different brands, uh, different companies that you guys can actually target this to. Um, so again, I think this is a super, super cool item. Um, it's a conveniency item. Okay. Instead of bringing a whole bulky iron with you. Someone can just have this. And the good thing about this is there's different plug types, United States or uh, European plug type. So you guys can not only sell this in the U.S. if that's where you're from, but you guys can basically sell this worldwide. Again, really, really effective if you brand this the right way and made it and make it into a one product store. Second to last, this is a product, guys, that I sold last year. It's a seasonal product. Some products, you know, they have waves. They're seasonal. This product, guys, it does well every single damn year. Excuse my language. <coughs> I suggested this to someone else, and they're doing massive numbers with it. They're almost at like 1K a day with it. Um, but what it is, it's basically an electric heated vest for men and women. They have a bunch of sizes. They come in black, and they also come in red. Um, or sorry, black and blue. Again, super targetable, construction workers, people who are into outdoors, camping, hiking, biking, people who are into skiing, a whole bunch of outdoor sports. Um, so this can be added to a outdoor store, a camping store, um, 
uh, or like an adventure type store or even a one product store this is a great to be uh, this is a great product to make into a one product store as well and this is something that can last not only during the holidays but can last all throughout the winter guys okay um, so again this you will have to really really focus on its key highlights and its key benefits okay what benefits and what features are there then why should really someone invest into this vest okay so that's what you want to really really focus on in terms of this product but definitely a winner definitely something that can be scaled really really massively um it's almost like a mid to high ticket product okay i'm also selling this product this year and it's doing phenomenal numbers and last but not least um this is like a turbo scrub electric cleaning brush um again you can sell it worldwide because it comes in different types of plugs um, this can be people who are, um, or this can be targetable to people who are into cleaning, who are into um, just kind of home improvement and stuff like that. <coughs> Excuse me. So again, guys, um, it comes with like different knobs and different bristles. It's extendable, um, targetable to people, um, again, who are into cleaning or different like cleaning companies and stuff like that. Um, I think this has potential to be made into a one product store, but I would personally add it to like, again, like a home improvement store or um, more like a kind of conveniency store as well. Um, I think it's something that would perform really, really well. And I think there's not super, there's not too many margins or too much of a margin on this. I would say I sell it to two or three X more. Um, but I think this can really, really work well with Facebook ads. Um, I wouldn't say too much with Instagram just because it's the nature of the product is slightly odd um, so I would say more towards Facebook ads and you would definitely need a video for this type of product uh, because you guys want to focus and highlight the features and benefits okay guys so these 10 products guys go out test them I gave you the nature of the product I gave you you know who may, may be targetable to and I also gave you the pricing points and also gave you you know would it be better for Facebook or Instagram or both okay also, guys, I use a tool. It's called Sell the Trend. If you guys want to, um, you know, find other products, um, check it out in the description below. It's called Sell the Trend. It also has a video maker. It also has a Facebook audience interest finder, which is really, really cool. You guys can even find dozens of other interests for each individual product that I just mentioned. Um, you know, than the ones that I just told you, right? In terms of time, I just gave you a few targeting options. But with that tool, guys, you guys can really find relevant and accurate single interest targeting. So definitely send or definitely uh, check that tool out. It's called Sell the Trend. Um, a whole bunch of individual micro tools within that platform. So that will be in the description below. Um, also, guys, if you guys need any help and guidance, you know, if you guys have any roadblocks or hindrances, I'm also offering one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching calls or one-on-one -on -one growth calls, as I like to call them. I only take 20 of these calls every single month, so definitely check that out in the description below if you want to hop on a call with myself. Uh, these calls are usually through Skype or Zoom, so we can effectively, you know, screen share and whatnot. I can really deliver that most clarity across to you guys. But what I want like to say at the end is, guys, implement action, okay? Focus on micro-branding, uh, really, really making the product your own and really adding value to the product and really knowing your buyer persona or your audience persona, meaning your ideal buyer for your actual product, okay? You guys should always be doing some research in the background, um, you know, your market intuition and also your market logic in terms of, you know, how can I really sell this product? What different marketing angles I can take? Um, and you know, how can I really maximize my return? I'll be actually making an, another video for that in terms of marketing perspective and marketing angle. Um, so you guys can really know uh, in terms of, you know, different avenues you guys can take when you're selling this product uh, through Facebook ads or even through influencers as well. So guys, with that being said, if you guys have any comments, comment below. If you guys want me to make a video regarding a specific topic, comment below, like this video, subscribe if you guys are new, follow me on Instagram, Follow me on TikTok, guys. I'm also on TikTok now. Um, it's Ecom Yash. That's E C O M M Yash. Um, and until next time, guys, I will check you guys out soon. Thank you. Peace.